What's up guys, this is Kyle from Wax Museum and I've got another video for you today that I hope will in some way help to enhance your hobby experience and to be honest it's not even a video that I had planned on making but someone gave me an old box of top loaders that they didn't want and as you can see here just I, I pulled out a, a sample of them but um, although this one's got some bigger issues than just the sharpie on it but two of the issues that you commonly see on there is tape residue and Sharpie. So um, I wanted to show you what I do to clean these off as best as possible. And look, I know, you know, there are some people that will say this is not worth your time. It's not worth saving six cents or whatever. I'm not going to argue with those people, but at the same time, I'll, I'll put a game on or a movie on and, and I'll work on these. So it really um, doesn't bother me to spend the time on it. I try and multitask. Um, or if you don't want to do that, use them for shipping, right? But I, I try not to throw these away, um, even though they aren't as clean and aren't as nice as some people would prefer. So uh, real quick, let's go ahead and look at um, ways that you can get rid of the actual tape residue. And um, the best way that I've found, even though I'm not a huge fan of it and I don't always like using it, but the best way I've found is something you probably know about called Goo Gone. And I've also used this to remove labels from... Um, all sorts of, of binders and card guard binders. So that's the best thing that I've found. So um, I try not to apply it just right on the top loader itself, but I put a little bit on a paper towel and it just depends on um, how bad it is. This one is not one of the worst ones. It's just there at the top. So um, I'll apply it and generally you want to do this on a hard surface. So it's kind of hard to do this in film at the same time. Um, this one came off pretty easy, so I just know that if, if it's worse than that, it, it's going to take quite a bit of work. So you can see that that residue came off there. Now the only issue is, um, like I, I'm not a big fan of the, the smell of Goo Gone. It just it doesn't go away for a while. It's like a citrus smell. And then also this top loader is um, kind of like greasy or slick now. So you might want to you know let it dry for a little bit and then go back over it with a paper towel later on to dry it off a little bit. It doesn't make it perfect, right? It's not maybe not something I would use for my favorite cards in my collection, but uh, instead of going out and buying more top loaders, you know, I try to try to save as many as I can, or I might use them for a card show or something down the road. Okay, another um, method that people use that I'm not going to show you is, is peanut butter. Yes, that's right. They use a little bit of peanut butter. Um, I've also seen other people say if you use more tape like a new piece of scotch tape and you know use it on the other tape that it works i don't know i'm not going to show you those i use goo gone uh, it works it's quick you know i've got it here at the house already so no problems for me okay now the other issue that i talked about or that i mentioned in the intro was sharpie on top loaders and you can see here uh, i've got sharpie on a number of different spots so let's take uh, let's take this one right here so the first thing you can do uh, not my favorite method, but once again, I want to show you several different methods here. You can take a uh, high polymer white eraser, and who knows, maybe you can even use other erasers, but these are ones that I use for cards that I'm going to get signed in person. It kind of takes the gloss off the cards without leaving a big pink mark all over, so um, that's what I'm going to use here. So um, you can take that eraser over it. It's going to take some elbow grease. Once again, I, I, like I said, this is not my favorite method at all, um, but I wanted to at least show you some possible methods. Um, so it does leave kind of some eraser marks on there which will come off with a little bit of pressure. So anyway, that's one way to do that. I don't think it's the best way, but it is one way. Another way, once again, you can use the Goo Gone. That seems a little extreme for Sharpie. I've seen people use hand sanitizer. Um, once again, not necessary in my opinion, but maybe you've got a surplus of this now and you don't know what else to do with it. Um, I've seen people use magic erasers. I don't have one of those on hand. I've seen people use dryer sheets. I don't want to use one of those at the moment. Uh, my favorite method, and probably the easiest, believe it or not, if you take a dry erase marker and you go over, so yes, you're marking on the card to remove marks. So you take a dry erase marker, you go over that area, you take a new paper towel, and you wipe that off and then you'll have to do it again if there are little spots left over like you see that there are little spots left over here but not much 
and I've got the low odor markers here. You can you know, take whatever you want. I'm, I'm a teacher, so I had a lot at my disposal. All right. So anyway, you know, a little more work on that. I could keep working on that, and that will come off um, much easier than the Goo Gone, much easier than applying anything else to this, in my opinion. But um, I wanted to give you some methods that you can use. And once again, hopefully this will help to enhance your hobby experience. Maybe you've got a way that works better for you or a method that works better for you or something you've used for years. Let me know in the comment. Um, otherwise, remember there are new episodes of the audio podcast that come out every Thursday. And as always, thanks for watching.